Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. Today marks four years since Sedgwick County Deputy Robert Kunze III was killed in the line of duty. In 2018, he was investigating reports of a stolen truck near Garden Plain. And while arresting the suspect, Deputy Kunze was shot. He later died at the hospital, and tonight, many are honoring his legacy. I want to bring in KSN's Hannah Adamson now, who spoke to some of those folks. Hannah. Well, Jeff, those who knew Deputy Kunze say he loved cars and, in fact, hoped to restore a 1966 Pontiac GTO as a retirement project. A local car club learned of Kunze's project and decided to help turn that dream into a reality. We knew that the car would probably not get restored without us stepping in. For Sam Nance, restoring Deputy Robert Kunze's car is no ordinary project. It's almost been like everything you've done up to this point in life has led you to this. For the past two years, he and his brother Tom have led the charge to fully restore the fallen deputy's 1966 Pontiac GTO. We want to make the car the best we can with what we have to work with. The vehicle was originally a demo car belonging to a Pontiac executive before Deputy Kunze purchased it, making original parts even more difficult to find. There'll be a lot of electrical work that's got all the brand new wiring be put in. Um, we'll have the dash to put in, all the interior to do. But thanks in part to the brothers' tireless efforts to spread the word. We've had parts donated from around the country. We've had services offered through around the country. Monetary donations also pouring in from Wichita to Switzerland, not just to restore a car, but to honor the memory of the hero behind it. We can't mention how many people in the local community have, have supported this project. I mean, it's... The list is long. I mean, it's just amazing that you can turn something bad into something good by doing something selfless and giving to somebody else. The body of the car is currently in a paint shop. The brothers say they anticipate the car will be finished by spring of next year. If you'd like to support the restoration project, we have details on an upcoming fundraiser on our website. That's KSN.com. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.